Hey guys, we're here with, uh, well, Rafael Nevin from the Netherlands. Uh, we're here at uh, YCS Lima, and uh, my team and I just got fourth place. Um, and uh, this is for Simo and Livia. We wanted to show off our, our decks. I play pure orcas, just like um, in London, just like in Texas. Um, the deck is still very good. Um, it, lose, it lost quite some consistency since like uh, the list, the Forbidden Limited list, but I still think it's a very consistent and good deck to play. Uh, as we saw that Joshua Schmidt got second in London last week, so uh, I will show up what, what I played. Um, so for the normal summons, uh, we chose a big package of normal summons because you basically need any of those cards to get out of the early game now. Um, so the mathematician is like, because this is Pogaster, it works well with like against uh, there can only be one. And when when this gets hand traps, you still get a card when they uh, destroy it, so it kind of replaces itself. And seven normal summons is a lot, especially if Rhoda, so you actually play eight normal summons. But so you'd be like, if you open two normal summons, like what do you do? Or what if it gets Ash? But it honestly, you, you have to because if your normal summon gets stopped, uh, you play a lot of defensive cards. You, you you probably can't stop them from playing. But next turn, you still need one of those normal summons to get out of the early game. So it, it kind of makes sense to to still have extra normal summons um, after like after turn one. Um, so these were, work very well. This one, of course, is kind of awkward that sometimes you can't send Wand or Gizmag or Nightmare, but uh, yeah, it's still like very, it's very good. Uh, Gizmag, and then for the Orcs package, it's a bit smaller than in uh, London. Uh, it's just two Nightmare and two Symbol because um, this is something that uh, I was discussed with Nash. Um, we cut the Orcus return from two, from three to two because it's it's kind of like a, it breaks more than it does your, your your hands well most of the times. So we just try to uh, we also don't play the level one because we we completely went to the other other side to like towards some more normal summons, then to uh, to increase the Orcus package and then because the level one is of course really good if you have a big Orcus package because you always want to have a level one and an Orcus card in hand. But they also increase breaking if you don't have either of those. So that's why we caught down on those. For the hand traps, free effect vader, free ash, free impermanence, free phantasme. So like I, like I said, this deck really needs, if your normal summon doesn't go through, you need to stop everything else from happening and then play around, uh, play again next turn. These are fairly staple, fairly good as well. Phantasme is still really good. I lost six die rolls in a row yesterday. So I'm really glad I played a big hand trap package. Especially in the mirror against like Orc is the most played deck right now, and any of these kind of ends their end their turn. So all of them are really impactful, and then the effect raiders were extra because you can draw them on Phantasme. And um, many of the good teams played the Draconet Dra Dragon combo deck, and effect raiders is really good against that deck as well. So uh, yeah, I played against Ed of four, and like effect raider just end this turn game one, and then he got OTK like. Any of those hunters would do the same, so I'm really glad we played 12 of those. Uh, Insufusion is back in here. I'm not that big fan of Insufusion, but this is something I discussed with Nash again. Um, I was playing Millennium Ice, and then uh, Insufusion actually plays around like any of like the normal hand traps except Impermanence, but we didn't have space for that right now. Still, when you have an, an, an Orcus card in hand, the Insufusion kind of becomes a mermaid because you have the Barricade Blocker. So it's still fine, and of course, if you're playing Wind Eyes, it's, it's just FTK against most decks. Free Call Bullet Grave because your normal summon is just fragile against hand traps. Upstar Goblin, I play Upstar Goblin and 40 cards right now. I, I can't believe it, but I, I was playing with Paolo and he wouldn't let me play an inconsistent deck. So, uh, Rhoda, Foolish, still really strong, and then Babel, to Return, and Crescendo. 40 cards. 39. <laughs> Don't even start. All right, uh, extra deck. I think extra deck is really standard. Two Dane, Gala, Long Gear Sue. So I play Zero Balls again. Uh, over Top Logic Bomber because this card just can end random against random match uh, matchups and rogue decks. It's really good. Um, it's also really good. A need to make Phantasme if you uh, activate Phantasme and have Mascarena. You chain Mascarena, summon this Phantasme, and then banish the entire field. Some decks just lose to that. Um, and then after you resolve Gizmag or your opponent resolve Gizmag, this it can steal, steal games. And I never made Bomber in London, so. Uh, just Banya, still really good against back row decks. Um, also in combination with Red Reboot. 
Girl Sword, of course. It's just like Girl Sword top deck. Phoenix. And then Mascarina. It's like. Uh, you basically go with Mascarina Babel setup all the time now. Uh, and then Mascarina can go into Unicorn or any of the other links. Barricade Blocker. Really good to like pitch that card. You can always pitch a card. And then the Fusions. Side deck. Uh, so this was last minute. Panker Tops. Um, I'm so glad I played this because round one we played against Sub Terror. Uh, I played against Altergeist. I played against so many rogue decks that Pankasops just bullies. Um, yeah, this card was absolutely insane. It's also for Salad uh, and uh, it's really good against Sky Striker as well now that they play a lot of traps. So I'm really glad I played that. Uh, Freelance, yeah. Free Mind Control. This is staple. Mind Control in, in Orcus is the most busted side that card there is. Uh, free twin and free reboot. That's just because, yeah, nothing to say about this. The reboot is really good because you you have access to um, to Tisbania and you don't want to lose to Ro. All right, some shoutouts. Um, shoutouts to all my teammates from uh, this YCS, Paolo and uh, Ramiro. It was an honor to play with you guys. You guys are really good. Um, to my team, Jobber. Who, uh, yeah, I'm very grateful that I'm in their team and my other sponsor, Le Corne de Baron, for all the all my cool uh, OCG sleeves, OCG deck boxes. So check them out if you're into that. And um, yeah, all the, my all my friends who uh, supported me and all the friends here uh, who made this the best birthday uh, ever. And uh, I'll see you guys at Pasadena.